it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I am back with another haul video today. So I have here a box full of things that I'm going to show you and I was able to get quite a lot of very cool items. So I am really happy about how this day turned out. It wasn't initially going to be this good, I don't think. So I will go ahead and set this down and we'll go piece by piece into this madness. This is a ball wire rack that you would put your ball jars in, your canning jars. It's a canning so what you would do, and this would hold, I believe, I don't know, six, at least six jars. They would set in each of these divided areas here and one in the center. So maybe seven you can hold in here and we have handles. So you would put your jars in there for canning and you drop this whole thing in the water, hot water, boiling water, water, so that they would do what they need to do. I don't know much about canning, as you can tell. So I was able to get that and I paid $2 for it. That was my price. Uh, nothing was priced at this yard sale. So I'm like, $2? She's like, okay. So what this is worth, I looked it up. I did that much. It's worth about $10. So very cool. I am glad that I grabbed it because I have not seen anything like this before. And I think it's pretty cool. But if you have like a Hoosier cabinet or some kind of primitive display, you could really, ooh, Another thing I saw, you can put your ball jars in here and then put flowers in, in all of them and put this as a, dis a center display. I think that'd be so cool. Uh, but obviously this is very period. So if you had a Hoosier cabinet or anything like that, it would go great with that. And it would hold your ball jars, your canning jars very well. So I had to grab that. Also at the same yard sale, this was actually the first thing that I picked up. I was immediately drawn to it as you might realize that I collect this stuff. But I walked right over to it and I picked it up, obviously no price. Said, is, so I, I said, is anything priced? And she's like, no, just, just ask. And I was like, okay, how much is this? Oh, 50 cents. <laughs> like what? Okay, so it's black amethyst. Eh, there was a little bit of a debate over that. It's black glass. It's way too thick for me to check if it's actually amethyst or not and I have not looked up the pattern. Darn it, I am so bad. So it's very cool. It might be Ellie Smith, but we have here these lovely scrolled handles on each side, and then this lovely sweeping whatever on it with little, what are those things? They're like W, it's like the Walgreens W. See, I don't know, yeah. But the inside has lots of scratches. I don't know if you can see that or not. Lots of scratches. It's okay for 50 cents. So that was a no-brainer, huh? We went to another yard sale. We weren't planning on it. We were in this town and we're like, let's just drive around and see if there was any others. We did. We found some. Barb and I did not say that. Barb and I went yard sale. Okay, this is really cool and it's not old necessarily. It's just Easter's coming up and why not get one of these to sell in the booth? So it's probably new, doesn't matter. I pay 25 cents for this. I mean, what? So 25 cents for an egg plate, deviled eggs. And I think it'll sell really well and easily because it's very lovely, very Easter themed. That'll go great. What else did I get? Okay, so the place that I got the, the canning jar thing and the black glass, I also got these for free. I was looking at them intently for a while not knowing quite what they were and what was the deal. But we have here two of these old jars. Now, they say winsome. Well, you can read it, see? Winsome. And it's, it says New Newark, New York. So I, I was very taken back by these and I did not know what to think. So interestingly, they're completely empty. But the tops are fine and the bottoms are fine. They're, they've never been opened, that I can tell. And the paper labels are in great shape. They don't look like a can opener has ever touched them. So what to think? I don't know. Then, I, then she goes on to tell me, oh, they had boxes and boxes of these one time and she got a cup, she got some. I don't know what to think about these things. So are they reproductions or what i don't understand why you would can a jar have make a can with nothing in it i don't i don't understand 
Maybe you have an idea about that, but they were free. So I said, okay, I'll just say, so this one says diced carrots and this one is diced beets. So there they are. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. The, I think, so at that same sale, I also got some outdoor yard things. I will show you that now. All right, so I actually bought this really cool concrete bird bath at that same sale for $5. And it, it, it is in pretty good shape. So I think I'm gonna be able to sell it for about between 40 to $50. And yeah, it's just really awesome. It's about three feet tall. And then I also bought this one right over here. So I bought two bird baths for $10 concrete. That one has butterflies on it. And it's also in pretty good shape. So beside those two, I got one, no, two other things from her sale that are outdoors related. And one of them is this here. It says planter concrete as well, also $5. And hopefully it sells. I will put this one in the booth. Now the two concrete bird baths I put on Facebook. So I think they'll sell on there. That way I don't have to lug them around to all over the place. And this one's in pretty decent shape. Now there is some superficial cracking or it could be a little worse, I'm not sure, but it's holding up well. But hopefully we can get some money out of here, maybe $20 out of this planter, maybe a little more, I'm not sure. And then right over here, we have this very awesome purple Martin bird house thing. It's metal tin and it holds up to 12 families of birds so very cool and these are open you can open these and that way they're well it's a little stuck but you can open it and then you can clean out the birds once they're done for the season and it mounts to a post i'm looking at it from the wrong side but there are two c clamps on the other side of this thing right here so you can mount it on a post now i would consider putting this in our yard however it needs to be between 12 and 20 feet in the air. And if you have trees nearby, it needs to be even higher than that. So our yard isn't really equipped for something like that. But yeah, so unfortunately I'm going to go ahead and also put that on Facebook Marketplace and sell it. So those yard things were awesome and I got a great deal on those. but. I will also say I went to another yard sale. So the, the yard sale that we were supposed to go to is what I'm about to show you now. This was not really a yard sale. It was advertised as an estate sale, but it wasn't really that. And then in fact, when we got there, it said yard sale. So, and then she claimed to me, oh, well I put, yeah, I put estate sale so that I would get more people. <laughs> okay, whatever. But there were some pretty old things in there and I'm super happy. I thought this was so cool. It is an Art Deco frame with these gold corners on it. Awesome, awesome frame here. And it's a reverse painted 1920s time frame Art Deco frame. Awesome, just lovely. Uh, you might not be able to tell on screen, but that is a dark forest green color. I feel like you can tell, forest green. And then we've got cream. So it's like a cream and green, very popular then. Awesome thing. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm collecting Art Deco picture frames now. I didn't really, why, I don't know, but they're so cool. And I think that's awesome. I paid $2 for this, so that's awesome. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't really have pictures, so I don't know. I don't print pictures out. In fact, I had some frames out and I decided to get rid of them, but the frames that I had, I bought like maybe four years ago at Home Goods, and I just put like, so I have an old calendar and I cut calendars apart for the pictures and then put the pictures up from the calendars in the, I don't know, I'm just not really, I don't like looking around and seeing pictures of myself and it's weird. So there's that. This is a really cute, cute bell that I almost didn't buy because I could not decide, but it's a very beautiful cut to clear. So that's what that's called. We have green and clear cut to clear and it is made in Hungary, crystal clear, 24% lead crystal. Not that that really means anything. The fact that it is Hungarian crystal, 24%, 
uh, by itself means not really much, but it's pretty and the coloring is correct. Correct, I don't know what I'm saying. The coloring is there. So it's, it's pretty, very nice. I will probably sell this in the booth and what it's worth, I'm not sure, but I did pay $2 for it. I think that was a pretty good price for what it is. And I don't make it a habit to buy bells because I am not that up on the collectability of them. I'm not sure how collectible they are. All right, I did get, oh, this was cute. I went to another yard sale. This was kind of the exception. Everything else I will show you is from that same sale, but this is the exception. I went to this other sale and I bought this very cute, isn't that cool? It's a glittered Santa doing his little dance there. Whoop. And it was 25 cents, but the, uh, what was it? The sale was in benefit of Alzheimer's. What was that? Benefit, <laughs> how ironic, I cannot remember. So it was in benefit of Alzheimer's. Oh, and you can donate what you want. So if it said to, like, you can pay them more, they said, pay us more. So I did, I paid him double, ooh, 50 cents. So it's a 50 cent ornament, I will keep this. It is just really cute and I'll add it to my tree. It does have some missing, you can see his belly poking through there. Maybe you can't, there's so much glitter. Oh, and his butt, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I got that. Now, also back to that other sale. I thought this was adorable, really cute kitten letter sorting station letter letters i think you put letters in there and then maybe a pin a pin or scissors or something it is made in taiwan so it's from the 70s there it is and it's just cute i paid a dollar for that thought that was a great price really one of the first things i grabbed at that sale okay i did get two tablecloths and they are nifty Actually, let me wait. I did pick up this here. It's le it's not left in. It's Linux, and it is really cute. It's this elephant with this trunk up. The tusks are in great shape without any issues. In fact, no issues at all. But it is Linux, handcrafted in China. Unfortunately, yes, China, not Taiwan or Japan or some something like that but it's really pretty and I think it's in great shape without any issues at all. So what this is worth, I'm not sure. I have not looked it up yet, but I will insert that. In fact, I'll try to insert some prices throughout this video so that you have an idea of what these things are worth, but really, really nice, I like that a lot. And I paid $2, paid $2 for that elephant. Now, like I said, I did get two tablecloths. I paid, $2. Either two or three dollars for this. I cannot remember. I don't, I cannot see the screen anymore. Oh, there I am. Okay, so it's really cute. I am now seeing a couple holes which I did not see before. But you know, it's just really pretty still. There's a hole here. Where'd you go? There it is. Little hole right there. Hmm. Just, just maybe two more that's slightly smaller than the one that I showed you. <laughs> I keep, I keep getting out of frame, but as you can see, it's just really cool. I love the flowers and I think it's really pretty and it's a square tablecloth made for like a card table. So it has limited use, unfortunately, but I thought I would go ahead and grab it. Whether or not this ends up online or the booth, I'm not sure. I, I feel like I should put it in the booth because it's not really a high set. The price point on this is probably around $12, to be honest. So I will think about that, but I think it's gonna go in the booth for about $12. And the other tablecloth that I bought, it's pretty, it's like a bark cloth. I can see, can you see the texture? I don't know if you can see that, but the texture is there. I think it's awesome. And this one has a hole. Did I notice this or not? I don't know, I guess I didn't. So there's a hole right there. But the rest of it, oh, there's just a couple holes. I feel really bad about myself right now. Darn it, I'm such a bad buyer. Ugh. It's really pretty and it's also a square one. So if you have square tables, you can use this tablecloth. So that's really pretty. Now I did get two Afghans. I thought these were a great deal. I say that, but I didn't even open them up to look if they were like holeless. Holeless. 
<laughs> oh boy. Whole list. Let's see. <laughs> Look, I think I'm so good. I think I'm just like, oh, everything I buy is just perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's great. So there's that hole. Mm -hmm. So this item's going to go in the booth. Okay, so there's that one and then this blue one, which I'm really hoping that there's no holes besides the one that's supposed to be there. Okay. I don't see any. That's great. <laughs> that's fantastic though. Okay, so this one, oh, there's a tiny, no, not really. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, okay, so there's something going on here. I'm not sure what that's about. Something going on there. Might be able to be tied back together with a something. All in all though, I think this one's much better. This one might end up online actually. So it's a blue and white. I paid $3 for it. I also paid $3 for the other one. So we'll try to sell this other one over here for about 10 bucks on 10 bucks in the booth because it has condition issues and I don't want to deal with that. This blue one I will sell online and it will probably fetch more like $30. So We'll see about that one. The other thing that I bought, the last thing that I bought is this really cool, and I have one of the, we have one of these on our bed. It's this green, and I don't remember, let's see what it says, and it has the tags. That's why I bought it. It is rayon and nylon. Can you see? Awesome tag, love that. Oh, I'm just reading. So I think that for the fact that it has the tags, it should be in great shape without any holes. Now there is some stain right here along this band, but it could just be from storage and maybe a little water got on there. So I'm hoping that it could be washed out. But how am I gonna wash this with a tag? I don't know. What is wrong with me? Okay, so I think the fabric is actually really good in good shape without any holes or anything. So maybe I can spot treat that with something, a little OxyClean perhaps. So that's everything, yeah. Ugh. I thought I did really good. <laughs> I thought I did good, but I didn't. I think I did okay. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.